Hey, what's up guys, Clinton here, and today we're talking about legato technique on guitar and how to use it for fast playing. In this video, we'll take a quick look at some amazing legato players and talk about how to try and get that clean and consistent sound. Then we'll run through a few exercises. All right, so let's take a quick look at some players that have really awesome legato. I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch, so if I missed your favorite, just let me know in the comments. First up on my list is Rick Graham. He's one of those guys that's just amazing at all guitar techniques, but I think the speed and sound of his legato makes for a really aggressive lead style. Next is Tom Quayle, who's probably my personal favorite when it comes to legato. His playing is super fast and smooth, and he really uses some interesting note choices in his leads. Moving on to Guthrie Govin, who's another guitarist that's just amazing at everything, including legato. Guthrie also has some awesome legato lesson videos on YouTube that you guys should check out. And lastly, we have Alan Holdsworth, who many consider to be the king of legato guitar playing. So moving on to tips on achieving a great sounding legato technique, here are some important things to focus on. In order to get more percussive attack from your hammer-ons and pull-offs, try curling your fingers in a C shape and focus on using the tips of your fingers rather than laying your fingers flat on the strings. If we place all four fingers on the fretboard, my thumb is usually behind my index finger, but you may find that you can stretch further if your thumb is behind the middle finger, so do whatever works best for you. Probably the most important aspect of legato is achieving a consistent note volume and duration. So this means getting your hammer-ons and pull-offs to be as loud as your pick attack. I often find myself picking slightly softer in order to not overpower my hammer-ons and pull-offs. Many players also use their middle finger to hybrid pick during legato runs, since the pick attack of the finger is a bit smoother sounding than a pick. For example, Tom Quayle uses hybrid picking on ascending legato runs and upstrokes on descending runs. So I would say this is a great framework to follow if you'd like to introduce hybrid picking into your legato playing. Regardless of how you're picking, be sure to hold each note for its full duration, which can be especially tricky when you're switching strings. My final technique tip is to try practicing slow, but make sure to keep the fretting hand relaxed as it's easier to over apply pressure when you're practicing at slow tempos. You can also try playing lines with only the fretting hand to test the consistency of your hammer-ons and pull-offs. Let's move on to some exercises which I've split into small pieces and then larger runs made up of those pieces.
Alright, so I hope this video helped you guys get started with legato playing. Or if you're a more advanced player, I hope some of the exercises and patterns helped expand your legato technique. Subscribe for more videos and let me know what you guys would like to see next in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time.